welcome to the call. It has been, I wanted to have a call last week, but I was away on my family vacation and I wasn't going to do a call. So we're catching up today and I am excited to get back into the swing of things because we're in the middle of August already. I can't even believe it. And um, yeah, we're over like halfway through the year and I really want us to have bi-weekly calls and even on the weeks that we don't have a call to do power hours. And it may not be on a Tuesday, it may be on a Wednesday or a Thursday, depending on what's going on. Um, but I wanna have something weekly for our team so we can just keep the momentum going because I know a lot of you have goals that you wanna reach for the end of the year or even quarterly goals. Um, there are deadlines for qualifying for bonuses. Um, so I want to make sure that I can give you everything that you need to reach your goals and to keep your business moving forward. Um, today, I wanted to talk about conversations. I'm going to see if I can share my screen here using a different button. Hold on. Let's see here. Can you guys see this? Okay, perfect. Um, I'm just going to leave it. Uh, maybe I don't know if I will mess it up if I put it in presentation mode, but let's try it. Uh, let's see. What I, what is this asking me for? Okay, I got it. I'm not really good at doing this, <laughs> but I wanted to talk about conversations and getting through a whole conversation to close a scale. Now I'm kind of like narrowing it down. Did I press record? Does it say I'm recording? Can you guys see that? Hold on. Crap, hold on. Okay, I'm recording, sorry. Now to go back to it. So I wanted to go into just certain areas of the conversation because I am trying to point out where people could benefit from using a little extra help. Um, I know there are strengths and weaknesses with different points of having a conversation. Some people, it's easy to start up and connect with people. Sometimes it's easy for people to go into the inviting part, and sometimes it's easier for people just to do follow-ups. Um, but I know that there are struggles and weaknesses in each part of the conversation, and that could be a reason why you're getting held back in moving on in your business. So I wanted to go ahead and, and have this conversation with you guys to help you gain strength in the areas that you may be struggling in. So your words, they mean a lot. Your words that come out of your mouth or are typed through a computer onto a keyboard, um, they really make a difference. They serve and they impact people. And I hope that you guys can use your words and not be afraid to serve people and to help people um, because that is why we're here. This is what we do in our business. This is a business relationship. So if you don't like talking to people, um, maybe this business isn't for you. Or if you don't like people at all, maybe <laughs> this business isn't for you because every day in your business, if you are working your business, you're gonna be talking to people. Like I'm not kidding you when I say that. Like I've had people on our team that are like, I don't want to talk to people right now. I hate people. I don't like talking to people. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. But you have to be able to talk to people because when you are working with them in challenge groups, you talk to them when you're, you know, running a team and you're building a team, you're talking to them because you want to help them learn how to coach and learn how to grow an income. You have to be able to like talking to people. Um, so, but it starts right here before you even get them signed up. Um, so, um, part of why people aren't successful in this business is because they're too afraid to even start conversations with people. They fear people's opinions. They fear what others think. I was totally in that spot for a long time. And sometimes I even still struggle with, you know, how are they going to respond to me? What are they going to think of me? Are they going to think that I'm stupid because I'm in an MLM? That was like one of my huge fears when I first started this business, um, being afraid of being shut down, being afraid that people aren't going to like you. Um, and just the negative responses that people may give you. But when people worry about that, they're not, you're not going to be successful if that is your main focus. But 
here's what's really cool about this business too, is there are a lot of successful coaches in this business. And those successful coaches have something really good going on about them. And that is they let go of what others think. They let go of that fear of negative opinions or people saying no, or just that fear of being rejected. They, they get over that fear. I'm not saying that they just don't have it at all, but they move on from it and they focus on how can I serve somebody? How can I help this person get started on their journey? How can I change someone's life instead of the fear? Okay. So it may still be there, but this business is more important to them. So they put that to the side and they move on. And something that um, Megan Blinka, who is one of our top coaches in, on our team, um, she says, so what, who cares? Did I say this right? So what, who cares who's next? So if someone has a negative opinion or someone doesn't like you and they say no, or they ignore you, or they give you an attitude and say, are you calling me fat? Which not too many people do that. I have heard people say that a couple of times, but I've never had it said to me from an invite. Um, you move on. If you, if they don't like your opinion, okay, there's someone else out there, not who cares about what they say, but if, if it's not helping them, if it's not serving them or you, who cares, move on, who is next? There is someone out there who needs you. I promise there is someone out there who will benefit from hearing your story, from hearing your connection, that hear, seeing that message that's sent to them and seeing that invite. They need to hear it from you. You are here for a purpose. I, I truly believe that everyone here who said yes to this opportunity is here for a purpose. You are here for a purpose. You are not just here for the heck of it. God put you here for a reason. So use it, okay? So when to start the conversations to help your clients? I should have put coaches too. Um, and the answer is now. There, some people are like, well, I want to wait until I'm further along in my journey, or I want to wait till I have more knowledge, or I want to wait until like, it can go on and on. I want to wait until, or maybe in a couple of weeks or maybe later. No, you do it now. Now is the time. There's never going to be the right time, but the sooner you start conversations, the more your potential clients and or teammates We'll be able to follow your journey, see what you're doing and build that relationship with you, build that trusting relationship with you. If you don't start and they don't hear from you, they will never know. All right. So here we go. I have my little notes here because I love taking notes. So there are four parts. This is what, this is just my little thing. I feel like they are the most important things. Four parts to the process as you work with your clients and teammates. Okay. Four parts. The first one is connect, connect, connect. Okay. Get to know your audience. Some examples are getting to know like their family. Are they married? Do they have kids? Do they have grandkids? Occupation? What do they do for a living? Even what does their spouse do for a living? I talk to a lot of military spouses. Um, hobbies. What are their interests? What do they like to do for fun? Etc. Okay, this is connecting with them. This is just getting to know them, having conversation. This has nothing to do with Beachbody, okay? This is you connecting on a personal level, building a trusting relationship, okay? The second is inviting. Invite, invite, invite. When you already have a conversation going and you're asking questions to build a relationship, it is so much easier for that person to see that you're like truly caring and want to help them and you're not just another salespeople asking to buy. Because let's face it, we know that there are a lot of Beachbody coaches and someone may be asked more than one time by a coach to have them join your challenge group or your boot camp or whatever you want to call it. But if you have a conversation going and you build a friendship, even if it's online, it will be easier. And you know, even for just an example, I met a wife at a um, couple's retreat that my husband and I went on. It was like a, a weekend um, marriage retreat and we met another couple and I connected with the, with the wife and we started talking and we connected on Facebook 
And I didn't invite her right away, but I connected with her and, you know, continued to get to know her. And then, and then I invited her because she said that she's done a beach body workout. So that was like the opening conversation. And she had made a comment that she was thankful that I didn't just like go for the kill, that I actually talked to her and showed that I cared. And I was like, oh, sometimes, sometimes it is nice not just to do a, an invite that, you know, has no conversation before it, you know? Um, it's nice to build a relationship with people. It's nice to have people say, because you connected with me and actually wanted to know me and wanted to know about my life, that's why people will sign up with you, okay? The next one is follow-up. Number three is follow-up. If you let go the first time someone ignores you or says no, you're not serving anyone to your fullest potential. There's so much potential for you guys to help so many people, but it doesn't always happen on the first time. It doesn't always happen the second time you follow up or the third or the fourth or the fifth. It takes multiple times of following up and being the coach that they obviously need in order for you to help and serve them. The people need a coach for a reason. And usually it's because they need a kick in the pants. Although we think we're annoying people, we are the kick in the pants that is their motivation and accountability to get started. I know we don't like to follow up because we're like, well, I already asked them and they didn't answer me or they said they were busy. They said they had a lot going on. Yes. And a lot of the times that's also an excuse, but they really need help. And by you saying, Hey, are you ready yet? That one more time could make a huge difference and may be the game changer for that person to make healthy habits that may impact their health and well-being, that may impact their family and their spouse who needs help. And um, I was just looking at Robin and seeing, you know, the impact that it makes when you just follow up and, and that family member who might need that help too. Um, and then four is close the sale and serve. Okay, get your customer and coach signed up and get them started. So those are my four keys that I'm going to go into a little bit more. And I'm going to start with the connections. So I wanted, this is kind of like what I would do with my power hour, but I, some of them may be familiar with to you. Some of them I just created and we can resave them and put them in the file section in our team page or in the unit section um, just so you guys can have them because again this is like part of a power hour that we're doing but here's the connection part guys how can you connect with people and who do you connect with okay so um, connecting one of the ways is just by simply sending birthday wishes to people that are on your Facebook guys this is you, this is not hard. You're going to notice that this is actually um, pretty easy to do. This, this business is not rocket science. This is something that can easily be done in an hour a day. And I know people look at me when I say that and they're like, this business cannot be done in an hour a day. It is complicated and there's a lot to it, but it doesn't have to be that way. Like I got through my first year just doing what I needed to do and was intentional about it within a one or two hour period daily. Okay. So I'm going to try to hold off on the chat because then I'll have to stop sharing. Um, but so setting birthday wishes, and here's an example of what I say, Hey girl, just wanted to send you some uh, birthday wishes. How are you doing? And are you doing anything special to celebrate your day today? Okay. Something easy to start a conversation and connect. You will not believe the people who will be very thankful that you said happy birthday to them and you took the time because a lot of people don't take the time to do that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of people are on Facebook to just stalk people and to stare at pictures and to compare themselves to other people. Um, but when you send birthday wishes and you're showing that you're paying attention to their life, people like that. Um, it makes a difference. Next, how can you do it? You can find your friends, old coworkers, and people you went to school with. And when I say people you went to school with, I mean like 
go through your yearbook. <laughs> this may sound crazy, but like go through your yearbook that you went to. If you, you know, for me, I went to a different school from elementary to uh, a different location from elementary to high school or middle school to high school. So, you know, go through your yearbook, look at names of people and see, even see who you can find in your search bar in Facebook. And you can actually put in your schools, whether it's college or just area of your school. And you can find people from that area or that went to that school that has that in their um, information and their description. And you can connect with people that you know or that you used to know and you may not know them anymore. Add them, connect with them. Even if they used to work with you and you hardly talk to them, if they're there, add them. Because guess what? You can serve them and they may need your help and your reaching out to them may change their life. This is just the way to think about it with everything. There is a purpose. You see their name and their face popping up in your way. Add them. Don't be afraid. Who cares, what, who cares if you went to school with them and never had a conversation with them? Now is the time. You're a grown up now, okay? This is the way I have to say this to myself. I'm like, when I first started adding people that I went to school with, I wasn't like nothing. I was nothing close to the most popular person in school or a semi-popular person in school. I was nothing like that. And when I was looking at these people that I may know, I know who they were. I knew who they were. I didn't talk to them because I felt like down here compared to them. And I put my big girl pants on and I'm like, even though I've never talked to them before, what can I lose? Nothing. Stay in the same place I started, not talking to them. Or you can talk to them and realize that you're a big girl and you can just start a conversation and see how they're doing. I talked to so many people that I went to high school with and I never spoke a word to because I was not cool or was too afraid and too shy um, because I was in a new school and, you know, kind of held back and you know so you will be surprised on the connections that you can make by stepping out of your comfort zone and putting on those big girl pants um so here's an example hey sally you're gonna notice the, the names i'm using i apologize if you're a sally Susie, or cindy but i use these in all of my <laughs> messages hey sally i hope it's okay i added you here i saw you on my people you may know list and wanted to see how you are it's been so long your kiddos are adorable so notice at the end I go over to their page and I look and see what they're, what's going on in their life. So for me, I'm a mom. I love my kids. I like to connect with other moms who have kids around my age. So I will look and if I see someone who has kids and they're adorable, I will say that, <laughs> which most people have adorable kids. I don't know too many who have ugly kids. Anyways. So that's another way that you can add and connect with people. Next is find the people currently active on Facebook. These are already people that are on your Facebook page, but you haven't connected with them yet. Go look and see if they're active. Usually those are the people who do go on Facebook and they probably will get your message. Hey Susie, how are you doing? I wanted to catch up since I haven't talked. We haven't talked in a while. Did you have a great summer and did you get to do anything exciting or take any trips? Okay. Again, this is just another way to have the conversation. And this is what I send out to a lot of people um, just to see what they've done. And usually they ask you back and you guys can have a conversation and start building the relationship. And after that, you can ask about their kids and just start forming them and getting to know them. Okay. Next is people who like and comment on your post. Hey, Cindy, how are you doing? I saw you liked my post and just wanted to thank you for the support. How is everything going and are your kids back to school yet? I love this because a lot of the time when you send a message like this, just connecting and they've commented or liked on your post with your fitness journey, you don't even always have to ask them about their own fitness journey. They'll probably say something like you are motivating or thanks for sharing. I'm starting to work on mine or I'm struggling to get on track or I've thought about it. And that opens up a door to, I would love to help you. And then you can do the invite. And if they don't say anything, your next part of your connection could be, are you also working on your own fitness journey? I'm just curious um, because you took notice to my post. It could be something simple like that. But also with that, 
I added something non beach body related because I'm connecting with them and just having the conversation. Okay. So those are my connections. Those are the type of things that I say to my potential clients and teammates. Does anyone have any questions? All right. Good deal. I'm going to move on. Maybe. Okay. Number two is inviting. So once I connect with the people, I will go ahead and I will send the invite. Sometimes I do cold invites, but I'm talking about building a relationship. So I will connect with people and then I will send the invite. Who do I invite and what the heck do I say? So people who like and comment on your post, kind of like the first last thing I just said was in the connection part, you can connect with people. But when people are liking and commenting on your post, you can also send an invite to them. Hey Sally, how are you? I wanted to thank you so much for the support on my post with my fitness journey. I love sharing it for my own accountability, but also in hopes to help someone else who wants to make healthy, make healthy changes alongside me. Have you ever thought of joining me? I would love to give you more info if you are interested. Okay. So there's your invite. Have you thought of joining me? Okay, you can copy it and paste that. I like to have these in my notes sections of my phone because when I do my power hour, it is very easy to copy that and people who are liking and commenting, just send that right over, okay? Next is people who you know love fitness. So this could be more of a coach post because we don't wanna leave that out. We need to be inviting to the coaching opportunity as well. So, hey Susie, did I spell Susie wrong? Maybe she spells her name that way. How are you? Hey, so I have a random question. I see you, I wish people like got my, my like how excited I am when I'm actually sending these advice because I'm talking like I'm having this conversation with them. I see your post about your fitness journey and living a healthy lifestyle. You are so motivating. I'm curious if you have ever thought of joining my team. You pretty much do exactly what I do, but you have the potential to help so many and earn an income while doing it from home. Would you be interested in getting more info? Simple, sweet, to the point, okay? You need to be inviting to the coaching opportunity. And if you just have it on your heart that you want to invite someone who you think just could be really good at it, just say that. Just be like, hey, Susie, how are you? I have a random question. I've had it on my heart about asking you this question, but I've been kind of nervous. So I decided that I just need to get out of my comfort zone and ask you because I'll never know if I don't ask. I just feel like you would be a great asset to my team. And I think that you could help a lot of people. Have you ever thought about joining my team and working on your fitness journey to help other people? Would you be interested in more information? Like just say it. And my kids are calling me, of course. And the next invite is everyone you talk to, just talk to everyone without judging if they would say no. So, hey Cindy, I was going through my fitness boot camp and closing some spots and wanted to send you a quick invite to join me. I know it's a little random, but I figured it wouldn't hurt to ask. We are a bunch of moms looking to rock our fitness goals and have a community of women who are positive and wanting some accountability. Is this something you would be interested in hearing more about? Again, simple, sweet, to the point. This doesn't have to be difficult, okay? So those are my invites, and my kids have called me three times. Goodness. All right. I hope that they stop calling. Sorry, not to be mean, but all right. And next is the follow-up. Okay, guys, so follow-ups. Remember I said it doesn't always happen on the first time? Sometimes it takes like eight to 12 before someone actually commits to joining you. And yes, that is true. There are people that I've invited like years ago and finally, years later, when I follow up with them again, they finally say yes. But it does not happen on the first or second or third time even sometimes. Um, so everyone you have invited, who do you invite? Or who do you follow up with? Sorry. Everyone you have invited that has not signed up with you yet. Hey, Sally. Here we go again. Hey, Sally. How are you? Hey, I know in the past you were not interested in joining my fitness boot camp, but I wanted to circle around since I was opening a few spots for this month. I would love to help you if you are ready to start. Simple, sweet, to the point. They, mm, you may have talked to them in the past. They just weren't ready 
but nothing says that they're not ready now. I mean, there's always a time at some point where someone's not ready and then they decide that this is their time. For me, I did that. I wasn't ready. I've said no in the past. And then I was asked again and I said yes. So I try to put myself in other people's shoes that, you know, maybe back then they had stuff going on. Maybe they didn't have the finances. Maybe they just weren't motivated. They weren't self-motivated enough to even commit to it themselves. Maybe they were taking care of a sick family member. Um, so never, never pass up someone that you've invited in the past and they said no. Um, next, people who ignore you or never responded to you. These are a lot of people that, um, that we pass up on and then they end up going to someone else because no one else followed up with them. And then they went to someone who did. So, Hey Susie, how are you doing? I wanted to follow up. I just wanted to follow up with our last combo. I'm not sure if you got busy or didn't see my message, but I would love to have you join my virtual fitness bootcamp. If you are ready to reach some goals, did you have any questions that I can answer for you? Okay. So those people who never responded, don't look at that message and say, Oh, they don't want to join me. Let's move on. Do you know how many times I myself have looked at a message while I was at a red light and then I started driving again. So I had to put my phone down and then I completely forgot about it. Or I was trying to get the kids ready for bed and I got the message or, and then I got a message and then I put it away and totally forgot about it because it said it was red and I never got back to them. Like it happens. So don't assume that because they didn't respond that they're not interested. A lot of times they are just busy and you get caught up with life. Give them grace. But ask them again, message them again, because they might say yes. Okay. Or maybe they weren't ready and you putting that bug in their ear again and asking them again, maybe that thing that tells them this is my time. Okay. People who ignored you five times. Yes. It's annoying when people act like they're excited and then they start ignoring you. And then they ignore you again, and then they ignore you again, and then again, okay? But hey, guess what? You should invite them again, or you should follow up with them again. Remember, eight to 12 times it takes. And yes, you sound like a nag sometimes, but again, these people need a coach because they aren't doing it themselves. They need a kick in the pants. They need motivation. You are their motivation. You are their accountability. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Hey, I know we talked in the past about you starting your journey and you seemed excited at the time, but then I haven't heard back from you. Would you be able to give me some feedback? I'm not sure if I upset you in any way or just were not interested. Please let me know so I can fix it. This is kind of like putting it on yourself and it usually makes people respond. It usually makes people say, hey, I'm sorry. No, it's not anything you did. I'm just not ready. Or I didn't want to say anything, but I don't have the finances or yes, you upset me and whatever it is, you know, but for the most part, it's almost never that you upset them. It's usually they have some deeper something going on and they were not ready. But when you can follow up again and again and again, and you can say a message like this, they will have the conversation with you and tell you what's going on. And then when you have that conversation, maybe you can help them figure out how to make it work. Okay. All right. And next is closing the sale and signing up your client or coach. So I wanted to include this in there because I feel like it is important. Um, a lot of times when we're trying to close a sale, we word vomit and we say too much and, um, and then the sale is not closed. So I want to make sure that when you guys are giving information, once you invite them and you follow up and see what they're wanting to do or they say they're interested, I just want to make sure that when you got, when you guys are giving information, show them videos, like give, show them something with the product so they can have detailed information because no one wants to sign up for something that they're fully not aware of what they're getting themselves into. And then two weeks later, they're returning it because they didn't know what they were getting themselves into. So for me, when someone is, when I'm signing up someone, 
I always ask them how their nutrition is, what types of meal do they, what types of food do they eat on a typical day, how many meals do they eat. I figure out where they can include Shakeology or replace it with another meal. And then I say, are you familiar with Shakeology? This is a superfood shake that we use daily in my virtual boot camp. It helps maximize your nutrition and gives you the nutrients that your body needs. If they say, no, I've never heard of it, I go send them information from either my blog or YouTube, okay? And I use Beachbody's videos on YouTube, not anybody else's, because I don't want to send them to another coach, okay? If they're wanting information on MM100, you can either go to YouTube and find the MM100 Beachbody video, or you can create a blog and put all of your information in there. And if you don't want to create a blog, you can totally just open up a Google document and put the information in that you want. So you can, you can do a Google Doc for whatever you want. You can make one just for MM100. Use the information from the back office of the program details and then get the YouTube link from YouTube from Beachbody of MM100. So whenever they look at the details, they can also get a sneak peek of what that workout looks like. And then that document you have forever, and then you can send that document link and say, hey, take a look at this, let me know your thoughts, and I can answer any questions that you have. Showing as much information so you're not leaving anything out, and they are confident when they make their decision is very important, okay? Never direct them to your Beachbody site and have them look themselves. Whenever someone says, oh, hey, tell me what you're doing, I wanna join you, please don't go and say, here's my Beachbody link, take a look around and let me know what you think, because they're gonna get lost. They're not gonna probably pick what they are supposed to pick because you don't know their goals, you don't know their level of fitness, they have no idea what's going on, and you're giving them a lot of extra work, okay? Don't make your clients work. Do the work for them. So send them the information, like I just said before, and whenever you know what they want, set up a share cart. The share cart is so easy to navigate through and to get them set up. So the hard work is taken out and all they do is click on that link and sign up as a new customer or they just finish the process if they're already a customer with Beachbody from, you know, in the past. The share cart is easy. Use it for them, okay? And then last, offer the discount at the end to save money. This benefits you and them. This benefits them because they're saving money and they have the opportunity to help people. And it also helps you because you're building a team and you guys want to build a team, I hope. Um, so it's like a win-win. I only ask people if they're going to sign up as a coach or with a discount, if they're going to be using Shakeology for more than a month because there's really no benefit to them if they're not going to stay on it for more than a month. Okay, so um, once we know what the package your client is getting, while getting the share cart, that is when I ask them, would you like me to set you up with a discount so you're saving $15 a month on your Shakeology and then have a 25% off discount on all other products like our Beach Bars as a snack or Energize, which is our pre-workout, and I drink that daily. This will give you the discount I get as a coach, but you never have to actually coach unless you want to, the opportunity is there. This is exactly what I say to everyone, okay? And I do it when I'm doing the share cart at the very, very end. I don't talk about coaching before unless I'm specifically talking about the coaching opportunity. Okay. If the, if this is someone who wants to start their fitness journey and they want help and they want in your boot camp or challenge group, or whatever you call it, I ask them about the discount at the end. And I love to talk about the 25% off and name a couple products that I use a lot because it gives them an idea of what else is out there. Okay. So, does anyone have any questions there? All right, good deal. So, I just wanted to do a little call to action here. Um, I really want you guys to use all of this that I just said as a part of your power hour that you should be doing every day. Remember, do this in an hour a day, you will build a business, you will build a solid foundation that really, really can um, help you and help serve a lot of other people. I've been holding this for a while and haven't taken a drink. Hold on a second. <laughs> now that we're at the end of the call. Next is let go of fears and just connect, invite, and follow up. The people who say no or are negative are either not your people 
or they're not ready yet. So they're going to come back to you, but go with that motto. So what? Who cares? Who's next? You have to move on. Don't get too emotionally attached into your invites and the people that you're talking to because you will have people that say no. You will have people that ignore you. And this is not something that you're doing wrong. This is you can't please everybody. You're not going to make everyone happy. Not everyone's going to say yes because not everyone's going to be ready when you invite them. But if you just keep doing it, you're going to find those people who are ready. You're going to find your teammates, your your lifers, your tribe. You're going to find the people who need that life change. Um, so let go of the opinions of others and what others are going to think and just focus on who can I serve? Who can I help? Whose lives can I change? And how did this benefit me? And then you think of doing it for somebody else. Let go of not having enough experience. I know a lot of people are afraid to connect with people. They're afraid to start the invites. They're afraid to work their business because they're like, I don't have enough experience and I, I need to see more. I need to do more. I need to do more training. No, just start, just do it. Experience only comes when you do it and when you take action. And last but not least, have fun with this, guys. Like, have fun with this business. This business is an opportunity not only for you to make an income, not only for you to build a team, not only for you to get fit and reach your own fitness goals or have a really healthy pregnancy. I see Misty on. Um, but the friendships that are built from this opportunity is absolutely amazing. I have found some of my best friends, and I'm so thankful that I did this. And I know, like, if I, ha if I wouldn't have invited or, you know, done the work that I needed to, I wouldn't have, you know, the friendships. We wouldn't have the team that we have. So just don't be afraid to, to just do it and to talk to the people, even if you think they would say no, because you never know who's actually going to say yes. All right, guys. Any questions? Nope. All right. Well, I hope this helped you. Um, I will be putting, how about I put the slides into, um, it's on Canva. I'll share the link so you guys can see the conversations um, if you would like to and use them for your power hours. Okay. All right, guys, have a good night and thanks for jumping on. <laughs> see ya.